In this session, we discuss the integrations by using partial fractions method. Already we have discussed the partial fractions, how to find out the partial fractions of a rational fractions. We know that rational fractions are two types, proper fraction as well as improper fraction. So, in order to find out or in, in order to resolve the partial fractions of a proper fraction, so we know four rules rule number 1, rule number 2, rule number 3 and rule number 4 we have discussed very clearly. So, using these rules itself only the first we have to find out the partial fractions of the given expression or we say that integration regarding integrand then splitting into the terms we have to integrate separately. So, that we get the value of the integration. So, today let us discuss the integration using the partial fractions methods. So, let us directly go to the example problem. The first example find integral x cube minus 2 x plus 3 by x square plus x minus 2 dx. So, now solution say i is equal to integral x cube minus 2 x plus 3 by x square plus x minus 2 dx. Let us observe this rational fraction. This rational fraction is a improper fraction. If it is a improper fraction, we have to write polynomial plus proper fraction. That means, this is to be divided by x square plus x minus 2 first. So, x cube minus 2 x plus 3 divided by x square plus x minus 2 x cube by x square is x. So, x cube plus x okay, x square sorry x square plus x square and minus 2 x. Subtract and takes plus minus this becomes minus this becomes plus this this gets cancel cancel we have minus x square and plus 3. Again minus x square divided by x square minus 1. So, minus x square and minus x plus 2 subtraction this becomes plus this becomes plus this becomes minus. So, this one cancel x plus 1. Now, this x cube minus 2 x plus 3 by x square plus x minus 2 can be written as polynomial x minus 1 plus x plus 1 by x square plus x minus 2. Now, this is a proper fraction and also x square plus x minus 2 is a reducible quadratic factor. So, we can find out the product as a product of two linear factors. So, now you can observe here see this x square plus x minus 2 can be written as. So, x plus 2 into x minus 1 am I correct? So, now partial fractions we have to find out x plus 1 by this x square plus x minus 2 can be written as a by x plus 2 plus b by x minus 1. So, multiply x plus 2 into x minus 1 on both sides we get a into x minus 1 plus b into x plus 2 is equal to x plus 1. Now, 
we know the method put x is equal to minus 2 this become 0. So, this is minus 3 a equals to minus 1 which equal to a equal to 1 by 3 and substitute x is equal to 1 put x is equal to 1 if you put x is equal to 1 this become 0 3 b equals to 2 b equals to 2 by 3. So, now this can be written as now this integral can be written as i integral of x minus 1 plus partial fractions of this one that is a by 1 by 3 by x plus 2 and next one is plus 2 by 3 by x minus 1 dx. Now, this easily can be integrated. So, integral of x dx minus integral of dx plus 1 by 3 common integral of 1 by x plus 2 dx 2 by 3 common integral 1 by x minus 1 dx. This is x square by 2 minus x integral 1 by x dx is log mod x. So, this will be log mod x plus 2 plus 1 by 3 log mod x plus 2 and plus 2 by 3 say log mod x minus 2 plus constant of integral. 